Hey guys, today I want to give you two Vanguard ETFs that you're gonna love if you're a dividend-focused investor. All right guys, so dividend-focused funds offer recurring income and they help maintain your low risk. ETFs are suitable for investors at any stage, whether you're new, whether you're experienced, whether you're near retirement, If you're looking to simplify your investment strategy, ETFs are for you. And consistently investing in a go-to ETF can help build a portfolio balance over time. Vanguard is a top fund manager and it offers diversified ETFs with excellent returns, low expenses, and better than average dividends compared to the S&P 500. I'm gonna give you two Vanguard ETFs today that are strong long-term investment options for income investors. But guys, before I give you this very first one, do me a favor, hit that like button, that thumbs up button. It really does help out the channel and I appreciate the support. Okay, here's that first ETF for you. It is the Vanguard Value Index Fund ETF. The ticker is VTV. It gives you a low expense ratio. ETF only has a 0.04 expense ratio, which ensures that the fees won't erode long-term returns. They give a strong dividend yield. They give you 2.3%, which is significantly higher than the S&P 500's average dividend yield of only 1.3%. So you're getting a solid 1% extra on top of what the average S&P 500 is. They invest in large, reputable companies. Okay, you're gonna get companies like Berkshire Hathaway, JP Morgan Chase, United Health Group. Those are the kind of companies that are gonna be in this ETF. And that makes the, the fund low risk, relatively stable over the years. But And they're diversifying. Largest holding account is just 3.4% of the overall fund, which is gonna minimize your exposure to any single stock. Again, this is for the risk adverse. The ETF holds 341 stocks with an average price to earnings multiple of under 21, positioning it as a good value investment. And they've had really strong historical returns over the last 10 years. The fund has delivered 171% total returns with a 10.5% compound annual growth rate. Guys, if this growth continues, the fund could grow tenfold in 23 years. All right, so that's the very first one for you. And guys, if you want more videos like this, hit that subscribe button and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking. Okay, here's that second ETF. It is the Vanguard High Dividend Yield Index Fund ETF. The ticker is VYM. It gives you a 2.8% dividend yield, which is a little bit higher than the value index. And it has a minimum expense ratio as well, only slightly higher than VTV. It's a 0.06% expense ratio, still low in comparison to industry averages. And they're focused on high yield stocks. They track large cap stocks, but they emphasize high dividend yielding companies resulting in above average dividend payouts. Just some examples of their major holdings include Johnson & Johnson, Procter & Gamble, Exxon Mobil, and all of these companies are known for reliable and growing dividends. And it contains 550 stocks, so it's gonna give you significant diversification across these high yield companies. Now, when we look at their historical performance over the past 10 years, VYM has generated 160% total return, which is slightly lower than VTV, but it's still very impressive for income focused investors. So both VTV, VYM, both of them excellent long-term options if you're a risk adverse investor that's seeking strong dividend income and solid growth. So these Vanguard ETFs, just like VTV, VYM, they're ideal specifically, guys, for income focused. If you're income focused, if you're risk adverse, if you're looking for stable long time or long term returns, these ETFs are fantastic for you. They offer low fees, strong diversification, better than average dividend yields, 
and it makes them a great choice for building wealth over time. Now, guys, for me, for my portfolio, I invest in single stocks. That's my strategy, that's my style. If you wanna know what single stocks I'm buying, subscribe to the channel, guys, and every single week, I'm making a new video. I usually post these on Mondays, but I make a new video about a stock that I'm buying that week. All right, so for both of these ETFs, they are not in my portfolio, but not because I don't think they're great options. It's just I'm a little bit of a crazier investor, and I like to put my money in single specific companies that I'm building myself. All right, um, anyway guys, that's all for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe, comment, ring the bell guys, all right? And I will see you again tomorrow with another video. Take it easy, peace.